Chapter 113 You are playing an international joke with me. When did you break up with Tan Xiaoling? A month ago, Lin Cheng started counting from when he and Tan Xiaoling met Jia Yishan in the cinema. Jia Yishan snorted. A month ago. Are you kidding me? Where did you spend the night for days ago? Lin Cheng's face stiffened. For days ago, Tan Xiaoling had sent countless messages to ask for a meeting with him. And he had gone. After he went there, Tan Xiaoling tried her best to please him. He couldn't help but spend the night at her place. Jia Yishan said coldly, There are plenty of scumbags in this world. Those who are capable can fly flags outside. But the red flag at home won't fall. Those who didn't have the ability would fight at home. Those who were more capable would know that their wife was at home. But their family didn't know that there was a mistress outside. However, in my opinion, the most useless thing is that the woman is so passionate about it that the man doesn't even know about it. Has simply a scum of society. A parasite that wastes food. Jie Yishan. What your words? Lin Cheng's was annoyed by Jie Yishan's words. Lin Cheng's. Watch your behavior. Dad. Auntie Wan. You guys don't know yet. Right. Because of Lin Cheng's and Tan Xiaoling's relationship, Tan Xiaoling hired someone to kill me in Sea City. Lin Cheng's. You can't control yourself. And you can't control a messy woman. What right do you have to marry into the Jia family? Jia Yishan's words successfully made Jia Kiwa's face turn completely black. He didn't object to their marriage, but it didn't mean that he agreed that Jia Yishan would be harmed by Lin Cheng's mistress. If anything happened to Jia Yishan, the marriage would become an enemy. They wouldn't be able to be in-laws but enemies. Jia Kihu asked Lin Cheng's directly. What's going on? I'm sorry, Uncle Jia. One really didn't know anything. I will definitely investigate and give Sister Yishan an explanation. No need. Jia Yishan rejected him. I don't want to live in misery every day after I get married. I don't even know when he'll be killed. Jia Kihua thought for a while and said lovingly, Cheng's, uncle thinks highly of you, but it's indeed not suitable for you to get engaged yet. However, uncle doesn't object to you to dating. You can try to get along with Yishan. Yishan, you too. Try to date Cheng's. Just give dad face. Dad is also worried that you will miss Cheng's and regret it in the future. When Jia Kihua said this, Lin Cheng's nodded his head repeatedly. He secretly cursed Xia Kihua for being a sly old fox. He didn't give him anything in return and kept him hanging. In order to marry Xia Yishan, he had given the sly old fox many benefits and he even arranged many cooperation projects. Meanwhile, Xia Yishan had achieved half of her goal. At least the marriage could be put on hold for a while. However, it was obvious that Jia Kihua had not completely given up on the marriage. This was a problem. Lin Cheng sincerely apologized to Jia Yishan. Sister Yishan, I was wrong. I will correct it. Are you free tonight? Let's have dinner together. I've booked a table at the revolving restaurant. No need. Jia Yishan rejected him again. In order to put an end to his pestering, she added, Please have some self-respect. Lin Cheng's was angered by Jia Yishan's lack of appreciation. He blurted out, Jia Yishan, do you think you're so high and mighty? You're still following a coward who doesn't even dare to show his face. You want to covet the daughter of the Jia family just by driving an Audi A8. What a joke. Jia Yishan, you're really blind. You don't even want to play with such a man.